Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Samantha here and welcome back to a new medieval episode. If you guys haven't already, please consider hitting subscribe and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way you guys never miss one of my uploads. We have a lot to go over when it comes to medieval and what's going on with this family. So let's jump into it, you guys. Alrighty, so we have joined the household. Robin Hood is feeling energized, hydrated. Our little dog Goldie is hoping to meet by the looks of it. In the last episode, we found out that Rosalind is pregnant and she is actually in her third trimester and will be giving birth any minute. But before she gives birth, I am gonna have her clean up these plates. I have no clue where she is. Oh, well, she's really far from home. Oh, <gasps> she just went into labor. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, never mind cleaning up. We don't even have a cradle yet, so. He, oh, he's like pre-parental panic. Can you, oh, she's like, let me clean this for you. Okay, we'll let Robin Hood take care of that. We do not have enough money for a crib. So she's gonna need to go ahead and, oh, she can't do it. So we'll get Robin Hood to sell everything. It is Sunday as well, so he does need to make a trip to the um, king and queen's place. That way he can pay their taxes. Um, Rosalind is shaking the future cube, hoping that it will know the sex of her baby, <laughs> apparently. Uh, so, okay, we definitely have enough now. Oh my gosh, look at all the weeds we have. Okay, we'll deal with that after. We should have enough now for the cradle. I will put this bed in their inventory for now. All right, so now we have a crib. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to pay the taxes. Okay, go have your baby. And Robin Hood can go here with her. I'm so nervous, you guys. Why is she glowing like that? Did you see that weird thing that happened to her? So a few of you guys have left names for me, so I'm really excited. <gasps> we had a baby boy! Okay, so the names that I heard was Arthur, Merlin, and something else. I really like Merlin, you guys. I feel like Merlin is so uh, medieval, but so is Arthur. I don't know. We'll go with Arthur. So we have Arthur Hood. Oh my God, they had twins. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, Merlin will be the second one. Oh my gosh. That's exciting, but we only have one crib. Oh, they put the other one here for us. Well, that's good. At least we didn't have to pay for it. Okay, so we've got Merlin, I think is this one. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Ooh, we've got two crying babies. Stop being mischievous. Okay, this guy has a stinky diaper, so you can change the dirty diaper. And then you need to breastfeed both of your babies. Oh, that is so exciting, you guys. I honestly didn't think it would go into effect because she got pregnant after the fact. I didn't really showcase this too much. I noticed I had edited a lot of it out, but I bought this fridge here, which is uh, CC, and it doesn't look like a fridge, but it works like a fridge. So now we can start making normal food, and I also have this out here, which is pretty cool, but it got damaged in the rain. So I did build a hut for it, but it needs to be repaired. However, Robin Hood's handiness level is not high enough for me to risk him dying. So I think we will wait till later before we uh, get him to fix that. Cause the last thing I want is him to get electrocuted. That would be absolutely horrible. Oh yes, that's another thing that we need to do today is we have to find out who Thea is in a relationship with. So I know it's late, but she needs to travel. Although I feel like Robin Hood would probably do the traveling and she would stay home with the baby Roonies. 
So I'm gonna get him to travel alone and go pay their taxes even though they are an hour late and they probably will hear about it. Oh, and another thing to note, I changed the lifespan for this game to long because I just feel too rushed to try to fit everything that I want to fit in with them all just aging up all the time. So we're still going to leave Robin Hood as an adult. He can be a little bit older, but I don't want um, anybody else aging up until I say so. So let's go to the kingdom and pay our taxes. So I'll get Robin Hood to come knock on the door for me. He's feeling really happy about having some babies. Oh, he needs to steal. Okay, well, we'll let him steal something while we're here. Let's see if we can find something that looks valuable to us. Maybe can he swipe a toilet? Nah, can he swipe a sink? I guess I will let him come steal this. And then he's gonna pay his taxes. Oh, did we get caught? I don't want him stealing that now because everyone's in the kitchen, of course. I'll let him attempt to swipe this gnome. Recently caught, so I wonder who caught us. I don't know who caught us, but anyways. Okay, so we're gonna go to the king and we are gonna do a friendly gift, gift of simoleons and it'll be a hundred simoleons because that's all we can afford. The reason why he is giving it to the king and not to Alistair is because Alistair took off on his own adventure. I have found him and I plan on us going to visit him right after. So Robin Hood is paying their taxes and the king says he's not happy about it. And because he's late, he expects double next time. So Robin Hood is gonna have to pay $200 the next time. So the king and queen don't know that Robin Hood was the rightful heir. They just know that there was one. Alistair is the only person who knows the identity of who the proper heir or the original heir was and who he had to uh, poison to forget who they were because I'm pretty sure if the king and queen knew they would have put him in uh, Robin Hood in jail by now like off to the galleys you go <laughs> okay so Robin Hood is home the babies are here or Rosalind is here with them they both look really happy I am gonna have her start to feed both of them looks like there is more to sell today so Rosalind is she needs to evolve five different plants I still haven't gotten any that are able to be evolved unfortunately does she have any winter plants in her inventory summer summer and spring doesn't look like it. She's got seven future cubes though, because that's exactly what we need. But I do want to get more plants planted, and I do think Robin made a planter for us on the table. He's made two of them for us. So we'll put one here for now, and one here. And once Rosalind's done, I'll have her plant whatever she does have. These are plantains. We should plant a few of these also. So the little family has settled in with their little their little babaloonies. We've got our garden going here. So I am going to go find Thea and find out who she's in a relationship with. Okay, so I added Thea back into the village here. But the other person who lives here is actually Rowan Hood. Um, she, I'm pretty sure, only had Big Bad Wolf, but now there is Flash and there is Oliver. And I think that it might be this puppy, this dog's little babies. So they're super cute. There is so many adorable dogs. It makes me so happy. But we are trying to find out who Thea is in a relationship with. And from what I can see, she has no relationship with anyone so maybe little john was just trying to be nice and acting like he wasn't interested but whatever the case is he did 
not they did not work out so a lot of uh, so someone has recommended that perhaps that maybe Thea could fall in love with a beautiful woman instead of little John and I think that is an awesome idea so I am definitely going to be going with a very specific storyline and I am going to go into that more when we do the side episode for Thea, but I just wanted to quickly let you guys know she's not dating anyone at the moment, but she's not interested in little John, so either she turned him down or he was just trying to be friendly and didn't want to let his friend down, like, oh, sorry, I'm not in love, I'm not really into your sister-in-law. So that being said though, this is the perfect household for Thea because we gave her friends at the animal and this household is full of dogs. So she is currently living her best life and I don't think we have to be in a rush of finding her happiness because I'm pretty sure by the looks of it, she is just living that moment right now. And for all I know, maybe she's fallen in love with little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> uh, but uh, we shall see, she's definitely got her dogs right now. Now, interestingly enough, I found Alistair, and he is currently, he is currently living in Evergreen Harbor, of all places. <laughs> Hopefully our siblings in our Eco Lifestyle LP won't ever have to worry about running into Alistair. <gasps> Apparently he's time traveled into the future. So I am gonna move him back in to the castle because we need him in the castle. The one thing that I wanted to point out to you guys is Alistair has a baby, but he has a lot of babies. So he has Candy. He is married to Candy. Candy has a friend, has a baby, Eliza and Yuki is her sister. So Yuki and Candy are sisters. So Alistair has moved in with his wife and his sister-in-law and she's had one child uh, named Eliza. And that's the child that lives with them. However, there is Case who he is the father of. He is the father of Brent Pleasant and Eliza. So he's got three kids, but he doesn't know the people that he supposedly had kids with, which we know in The Sims is pretty hard to have woo-woo and not have any form of love bar. So I'm not really sure what happened there. He has three kids and only one of them is with his wife, but Alistair is not someone to really care about his responsibilities to a woman, but let's be honest, he doesn't care. So let's get him back into the castle where he belongs. He is also gonna take all of the money because that's what Alistair would 100% do. But you know what, Candy's got her sister. She's not on her own, she'll be fine. They'll work it out. Everything is finally back to normal. Alistair is back at the castle where he's supposed to be and he is talking to the king and queen. He has learned of the new addition to the kingdom and that a couple have welcomed twins and that they expect three times the taxes now that their family has grown. Uh, since that's all they care about is the fact that he's collecting and that they get their money. They don't actually like, oh, we've got new kids. No, they don't care about that. They just want him to get the money. So you can see he's thinking about it. All you guys care about is me collecting money. Um, but when he's learned of who it is, he gets very concerned because he knows that means that there is real royal heirs to the throne now, not the fake royal heir over here, Colby of Martadam, who is the fill-in heir because the real prince has gone missing and he has not claimed his throne. And that's why um, Conrad and Sicily were able to take over the throne. So he's really worried about this because, you know, he doesn't want, you know, 20 years down the road, something to happen. Uh, so we are going to travel to the realm of magic with Alistair because we've got work to do. So Alistair has showed up at the realm of magic. Oh, this girl is so cute. Who is she? Well, she's taken off anyway. 
not very well. So Alistair has showed up to the Realm of Magic. If you guys haven't seen the first introduction to this series, this is the Realm of Magic uh, headquarters that I've downloaded from the gallery. It is so much cooler than what was here before. And it's got this amazing downstairs like magic school. Alistair's gonna stay here for a while and he's gonna start to do some serious research because he needs to find a way to put a love curse on those two young men because as long as they don't get married and uh, fall in love, they won't be able to claim the throne because they have to be married in order to assume the role of king. So Alistair's gonna be hanging out in the realm of magic for quite some time, uh, trying to figure out what he can do to stop this from happening. Um, but the one thing I do also want him to learn how to do is to make himself have eternal life. Um, he's still pretty low on the spell board here, so he is going to have to experiment and practice spells and the whole works. So we're just going to leave him here to do his thing. So poor Rosalind and Robin Hood, they don't even know that there is an evil wizard. Of course you can come over, you're our sister. Uh, talk to plant. They don't even know that there is an evil wizard that is out to curse their children. Their children were just born and already they are going to be cursed and I feel so bad for them. Aw, Thea's here to meet her nephews. That's so cute. Robin Hood's gonna come and change the dirty diaper of little Merlin. He still wants to finish reading some books. So let's open this up and find the handiness books for him. And I'm just gonna let him read all of them. Stop trying to sleep and just read because he wants to read three books. So she is sitting there talking to her sister, shaking the um, future cue. I want to find out who she's dating though. Ask about other sims. Let's ask her about little John and see what happened. Like, she's like, oh, I heard you guys didn't work out. You know, he said that you were seeing someone. I didn't know you were seeing anyone. She just says, I like little John. He's pretty cool. Yeah, she definitely is not interested in men. I would say she would like to find a beautiful bride for herself. So uh, that is what we are going to do. Okay, so he has finished reading that one. So we'll let him start reading Handiness Level 2. They are so tired trying to take care of these twins. Imagine back then, like it's medieval times, already giving birth is a scary thing, but then to top it off, you uh, have two of them. Could you imagine? We're all eating dinner together. The little babies are sleeping. I think we will send Thea home and we will let these guys go to sleep and we will catch up with them in the morning. It is the next day, Rosalind has woken up, she has to pee, I'm not gonna lie, she was up most of the night with the babies, they did not sleep very well. Um, Robin Hood did get up once in the night to help her. I am going to have him give Goldie a bath, however, because she got sprayed by a skunk again. So I'm gonna let him deal with his fox. And until the babies start crying, I'm gonna have Roslyn try to uh, deal with all of her plants and make as much money as possible. So Roslyn has finished her gardening for the day. She just stepped in Foxy's poo. <laughs> Although that poo, oh it's gone, that's darn. Uh, that poo is a big help when it comes to uh, fertilizing our plants. So you will not see me complain about that. 
So this is the cool stove I downloaded. It looks broken. So I will let Robin Hood come home and try to repair it. He has almost level, he has level three almost. So hopefully he won't get too hurt. Oh, he got splashed from the dog. He's hungry, but he won't be able to eat until he fixes that stove. How's our kiddo kiddos doing? They seem to be fine over here. Rosalind's just getting some sleep. Although she really has to go pee and so does he. I'll let her go first since Robin Hood is fixing the stove. Oh, he reached level four handiness skill, so that's good. Look, he fixed it and he didn't get electrocuted, but he did just have bladder failure. <laughs> okay, so you go take a bath. Rosalind, please deal with your child. Honestly, I this these kids are have been the most work out of all the babies I think I've ever had. I mean, Alice had what six kids? None of them cried as much as Arthur did. Arthur is a crybaby king, I've decided. Aw, Goldie is running away. She will make her way home eventually, but posting an alert via computer or phone can help her come home sooner. Well, considering the fact that they don't have a phone or a computer, I have a feeling uh, Goldie's gonna be gone for a while. Aw, she's sad that Goldie left. So is Robin. Aw, it's gonna be okay. Uh, she's an adventurer. She's gonna come home pregnant, you know that, right? It's okay, we'll give one to our sister since she loves pets so much. Alrighty, you guys. So I think we're gonna leave it there for today. We gave birth to our two babies, twin boys, Arthur and Merlin. Thank you so much to Diamond Rose for the name ideas for our twin boys and also for the idea uh, that's gonna be most likely happening with our beautiful sister Thea. So thank you so much you guys for watching. I always love it when you guys leave comments. It's things like that that really help me develop a story, create more characters, and it just feels like so much more fun like we are building the world and planning the LP together. And we also saw you know, Alistair, he is, he, we got Alistair back to living at the castle. He has lots of kids, but let's be honest, he doesn't care. His only mission right now is to figure out what he's going to do with these babies because they could become a real problem real quick. And if he doesn't take care of it, then the king and queen are not going to be very happy. So we're going to have to focus more on figuring out what Alistair is going to do and if there's going to be a way for us to protect our children. And we also need to get Rosalind to start getting her, or her guard gardening aspiration up. So we're going to have to keep working on that and popping out more kids. <laughs> so as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I am going to say bye for now.